Good morning, everybody. I hope you've had a wonderful, wonderful evening. Uh, we're going to be continuing on our Zodiac reads for November, and we are doing Pisces today. So for my Pisces people, here is your read. Spirit, please give me the energies around Pisces for love in November. And Spirit saying, passion, a magnetic and seductive quality surrounds you at present. Enjoy. So there's a lot of passion that's available for you uh, in November. So let's uh, see what uh, the energies are going to tell us around that passion. Uh, for those of you who are new uh, to my channel, I'm doing a, a series uh, for the Zodiac signs for the love potential for the month of November. These are uh, general collective readings, so please take what resonates and leave the rest uh, behind. If you're interested in your own read, uh, please do reach out. The Spirit, what is the energies for love for my Pisces people? One more card. All right. <laughs> oh, wow. So I'm, I'm seeing some really nice stuff coming out here. Just the ones that popped on top. Let's see what else we have. So Spirit saying, let love show you how to learn from each other. Right. So we've really got to go within ourselves and find that love. Divine soul counterpart attraction transcends superficiality, right? You have to go in and find that heart in there. And guess what? If you do, guess what's going to strike? Cupid's arrow when love is in the air, when Cupid is around. And that Cupid's arrow may lead to marriage, which is more really a commitment. Uh, so don't always take marriage uh, when the card comes out as marriage. As marriage, it just generally means you're moving to, if you're single, you're going to get into a relationship. If you're in a relationship, the relationship's co committed. If you're engaged, maybe it's going to move up to the next level of being married. So, those are the energies that we have. Let's take a look at what other energies for our Pisces folks uh, that we do have for this month. And for those of you who are interested in removing your blocks to love, uh, I will be doing an 1111 portal healing uh, with my co-host Spiritual Susan where we're going to be doing Reiki, we're going to be doing light language, uh, cards of guidance, uh, meditation and affirmations. It will be this Sunday, uh, November 10th. Uh, at 4 p.m. Eastern Time. It is donation-based, so just reach out to me and uh, give me a ring. Uh, let me know if you're interested. We'll send you all the information. Still time to sign up for it. Minimum donation is $30. So, Spirit, show me what else the energies are for love uh, within this thing. It will also be recorded so that if you can't make the time, uh, you can actually get the replay and you'll still be able to get the healing from the light language and the Reiki and the guidance. Uh, so it's uh, well worth it. Uh, reach out if you're interested. All right, so let's see what love energies we also have here uh, for our Pisces people. So <clears throat> Spirit's saying, let go of the past, right? In order to get outside and get to this area, you have to let go of the past. What's coming in is a very physical love language, physical touch. This is a dream coming true, right? This is why it's possibly leading to marriage. There's a rendezvous, right? And that's because Cupid and love is in the air. This person may be your best friend or is going to be your best friend as well. And the love language also will be quality time. So these are beautiful, beautiful energies uh, for my Pisces folks. And if you're new to my reads again, uh, Everything on this side of the read is really the potential, the energies that are surrounding you at this moment in time. And in the middle of the read is the bridge on how do we get there. And on this side of the read, this is where we have challenges, healing that needs to happen. And so as you can see, right now we're pretty weighted on this side. Let's see what the, the next uh, set of cards is going to show us in the energies uh, because we like to look at a full picture now. When I do love readings, the love readings are all about energies, potential, and how do you get from point A to point B. It's not going to be a story about what uh, your person is doing or your potential person is doing because I, I find those don't actually heal. If you look at my sign here, it's spiritual healing. We work on how to, things that we can fix. We don't work on uh, stories uh, that never come true or that keep you into a place of trauma. So let's see what we have here. We look at what is your block and let's see how we can fix it. So spirit, show me what's going on for my Pisces folks for, for love. Uh, in the month of November, 
Show me what we have potential-wise, Spirit. And I'm not taking the whole deck. I saw you trying to dump the whole deck. Uh, get two more cards, Spirit. Okay. And so let's see what we have in the cards. And uh, please do like, follow, share, and subscribe. Uh, reach out if you're looking for your own reading. And also, if you are looking for some spiritual healing, I do light language. That's my uh, main thing that I do. However, I like to do cards as well. So with that, let's see what we have in the cards. So we have dragonfly, right? And when we see a dragonfly, it really means change. Things are coming out, right? Lighthearted, adapt, finding out to change, things coming to light and heal, right? Spirit's telling us it's time to change from where you are. The relationship is over. No second chances. Grow, transform. What's dead is dead. And Spirit's saying this past, whatever this was in the past, guess what? It's dead. Dead, done, done. And when it says done, done, it's giving you a coffin too. And that coffin is really helping you to get to here, right, to that new beginning. So I'm going to put the coffin here. There's it's, this one is Johnny Dunn, and it's time for you to, to basically put this, put this to rest, lay this whole relationship to rest, and move to the new one. The reason why it died was because everybody was hiding their true feelings. It was a karmic relationship. Spirit saying, get out there and date. Why? Because all this is potential. And we have another metamorphosis the butterfly so spirit for for my pisces folks it's time for you to change it's time for you to get out of this karma out of this past relationship that you've been holding on to so so tight it's time for you to put put the coffin on it and get the masks off and change get out of your cocoon it's time to get out of your cocoon time to date time to move on time to get to these wonderful energies because these are wonderful energies and these are all they are waiting for you so let's see what's blocking you and, and if you look at my reads uh, my menu of reads you're going to see that you know we have a ten dollar read it's called what's blocking you in love and uh in that read what we do is we look at what is blocking you what are the energies what are the traumas around what's causing you not to find that love and then we work on how do we get past that, right? And that's those are the two most important things you could ever hear. And it's one of my least expensive reads. So if you are looking for this to find out why you haven't found love or love hasn't found you, uh, that's a huge read and it's very inexpensive. So Spirit, what is the blocks my Pisces have? Okay, and Spirit's given me two big blocks for my Pisces people. Number one is body shame. You feel unattractive uh, to others, work on accepting yourself, flaws and all. And, and this is something is called self-love, right? The body shame is a byproduct of self-love. Uh, some people will uh, put a lot of extra insulation on because they're trying to protect themselves from the hurt, from all the things that happen when you're not happy. And, and I see this uh, all the time uh, where people all of a sudden either lose or grow weight because they are upset with themselves. So learn to love yourself. Find that love inside yourself, and your body's going to move to its weight it's meant to be. And uh, it's not a, there's no specific weight. It's where you, you've chosen you wanted to be in this incarnation. Uh, but you have to start loving yourself, and as you start loving yourself, your body auto-regulates to where you're supposed to be in this now. Right? Otherwise, what happens is it fluctuates up and down because you're not happy within yourself. Second thing is rushing. You can't hurry love. The right one is coming in perfect divine timing. And this is one we never want to hear because we're in an instant gratification society, right? The collective darkness has pushed everything so fast in front of us. We expect it now, 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 now. And, you know, that helps the collective darkness and it helps them... Uh, keep you in trauma because you're always wanting that thing in the now moment that thing in the now moment it's trauma right you <laughs> because that's what you're used to and so you're just going back and back and forth and you're like i want it now i want it now i want it now and it's fragmenting your soul more and more you have to be patient 
It's a very hard thing to do, especially in the society where everything is just right there instantaneously in, in your fingertips. You know, you don't even have to leave your house to go grocery shopping anymore or clothes shopping or anything else or even food. It's all delivered. Same with TV. You don't have to wait a week for the Brady Bunch to come on or six months for the next, you know, season to come through. It's here, right here in the now. So we've got to stop this rushing. And so it's a, it's a tough thing, but if you want to get into that healing, that's where you really need to heal my Pisces folks. So now we've got kind of some of the bigger blocks uh, that are uh, out there for you. Let's look at how do we, you know, what is our higher self, the one that has solved this problem? How do they get out of this place? Right? How did they get to all this love that's coming through here? There's doors of opportunity. Spirit, what do you, advice do you have for the collective? Okay, and Spirit's giving you three cards. So let's see what your higher selves is. This is a collective reading again. So just take what resonates, leave the rest behind. And the Spirit's saying, let go. I need to really let go. There's something better on the horizon. This is why you got the death. You got the coffin. It's done, done, right? Done, 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 done. Let it go. Let go of the past, right? It's hiding under there. Let go of the past. An eclipse may hide your light, but not forever. And so what Spirit's saying is, yeah, okay, so you, you, you darkened up a little bit. You, you went through some trauma experiences. Your light wasn't quite as bright as you thought it was. Well, guess what? That moon moves over, and guess what? The light still comes out. And last but not least, everything is unfolding as it should be. So get yourself into that place of allowing it to unfold. Uh, because as, as I always say, within uh, the healing space, healing is a choice. It's not something that happens, although the 1111 portal is uh, coming at us very quickly. Those energies are you know, becoming more and more available since the 1st of November. Uh, you won't be able to take advantage of those unless you choose to take advantage of them. You choose to heal, and that's why we're having that group healing, you know, on the uh, on the Sunday to take advantage of those for those people who do choose to heal, who choose to find a way to remove those energetic blocks that they have to true love, and uh, are choosing to move forward with their life. And once you choose, the universe follows and will uh, follow you to the ends of the earth to help you uh, get to that place that you want to be, which is of love, right? And so that, you know, it takes time, as it says here. So you got to be patient. So we'll, and uh, for Lily, uh, I don't do uh, any, uh, any uh, personal reads right here uh, on this, uh, reading. However, if you show up on Sundays, I do do readings. Unfortunately, this Sunday I'm doing a large group healing, so I don't know that I'm going live uh, this Sunday. Uh, but uh, I can't answer that. It, you know, those when I do my free stuff, and you know, if you're looking for your own personal read, I, I would suggest maybe a mini read or just what's blocking you you in love, and you can reach out to me for that. And if you are in no contact, again, group healing that I'm having this. Uh, Sunday would probably be really good for you. Uh, it is manifesting love, uh, twin flame portal. Uh, all those healings are coming in, and uh, that is a, a donation base. Just send me a DM, and I'll give you all the information. It's it's not expensive. Uh, Spirit, what is the timing? So if we do fall into this place, what is the timing? Get one more card. There we go. All right, so spirit saying to you, uh, and this is because it's a collective read, you're getting a couple uh, spots here. So for some of you who don't want to let go of the past, it's a waste of your time. However, for many of you who choose to do the healing and choose to allow that past to be let go, it's going to happen within a few days. right? From today until the next couple of days, the potential for this door to open is there you have to choose to go into that door but it is there so this is a weekend this is a prime time uh, to meet people go out there go out and date go out with your friends go out with your best friend and uh, take advantage of the energies because these energies are huge right now and uh, so with that that is my read uh, for Pisces uh, please do reach out if you're looking for your own personal read and uh, you know watch daily um, 
as I uh, put out the love energies for today and also the collective love energies uh, for separation. I do that every couple days. And if you are serious about your sp your healing, uh, visit my spiritual site at Silver Fox Spiritual on YouTube, uh, where I have a huge library of light language that can help you for almost any situation. So with that, I thank everybody, and you have a great day. Cheers.